Hi, you clicked on this link because you want to know how to take an x-ray of the navicular bone or the scaphoid bone, and I'm going to show you how to do it perfectly every time. All right, so this is going to be an x-ray of the navicular or scaphoid bone. We do that for trauma. And uh, before we get started, I'd just like to ask you, if you like the videos, please comment and like and subscribe, and I'll do more, period. Okay. So here we are going to do the navicular view. The navicular view is an additional view in relation to the, or in addition to the wrist series. So the wrist is like this for the first view. You're going to bring your, your, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, going to bring your hand, elbow, and shoulder into the same plane, which brings the ulna and the ulna, ulna and the radius parallel to the table. So that would be the first view. Second view, you're just going to bring it up about 45 degrees. And uh, again, shoot right here where the wrist is. Third view is gonna be a lateral. So it's gonna be a true lateral, just like that. You can keep your thumb here or off to the side, but this is gonna be straight up and down, true lateral view. And then the last one, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put an angle on the tube of 15 degrees. There we go, 15 degrees, and we'll bring it over here. This is, um, they call this a snuff box, which is right here. Where am I? Ah, uh, where am I here? Okay, this is a snuff box. It's right here. It's a soft, soft depression. It's more on the um, radial side than on top. And we all have one. So just bring your hand, bring your finger down the uh, side of your thumb right here, and you'll feel a little, little depression. That's where you want to center. Remember, you got the 15 degree angle on the tube. So you want the, um, you want the, uh, I'm sorry, what am I thinking of? You want the bucky, uh, you want the uh, x-ray tube to be angled so it goes up the forearm. And you're gonna center right here. So you bring it into a line right there. And then you have the patient, the best, best, best that they can do, try to uh, do some little ulnar deviations. So bring it out to the side, cone down. You can cone down pretty, pretty close here. Uh, Cause it's a very, very small bone that you're going after. And there's that space again. And that's what you wanna do. So if you shoot here, you'll nail it every time. So that's uh, how we do the trauma series on an avicular or scaphoid bone. If you like this video, like I said in the beginning, please comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll do some more. Thanks very much and have a great day.